4278 Prass, South Euclid. Update video. Let's add from rooftop. And looks like the sun's finally poking through today. It's been pretty cloudy, but you see we're starting to get some, some blue in the sky. And you can actually see the sun, so. Um, Brett's on the phone right now with the concrete guy. We're gonna make sure the concrete work uh, and the roof gets started here quickly uh, because the, the rest of the house is going to, it's gonna be about four, five weeks, uh, looks like. So we wanna get right on the, the extensive exterior work. Um, so yeah, Brett's on the phone with those guys right now and we'll get them over here. But you, you'll see here inside um, the walls and ceilings here are all being prepped for painting and they're doing a lot of tear out so they're going to get rid of most of this carpet and then they'll put uh, replace it with see on the floor here uh, paper on the floor that they're going to cover everything with so they can paint see they're covering the this is actually really nice uh, moldings here around the entryways see very nice but you see they're Back here, they scraped scraped uh, loose stuff off the wall, things like this. For the most part, back here, that's what, um, that's what you know. That's where you see the white on the walls there, and then they'll get put, you know, get ready to put it back in paint. So, but here in the kitchen, you see they've torn out this part of the ceiling, and here it is right here. And right now, they're working on the cabinets. But this whole room has been uh, <clears throat> taped off and I put paper down so they can uh, get ready to paint. So they're getting prepping everything for painting. And down here they are ripping out some of the um, some of this drywall that's kind of damaged or loose or, or what have you. So but you can see the electricity's on. So we've uh, we're work we're getting your utilities all set up. And here's Brett. Hey, how's it going? We're getting it all ripped out and done. Got a call into the roofer and the cement guy will start that either this week or next week and get those knocked out. And we should have this one knocked out in about three to four weeks. Thanks, Ed. Sure thing. And then I'll just give you a shot in here. You see. You guys can take down that fence out there if you want. Yeah. This is going to be the finished part of this basement here. And then again, they're protecting the floor here for when they do go to paint, protecting all your uh, nice wood banisters there and moldings. And then upstairs, they're getting ready for painting. They're gonna do um, tape, obviously, they're gonna put the paper down to protect the floor, and then they'll uh, do a skim coat of mud and then. Uh, pr uh, what is it called here? <laughs> when you, uh, anyway, they'll get ready to paint in here. They'll put the primer coat on there, that's what I'm looking for. You need a lot, of, you need a nice primer coat on some of these walls, you have very dark, uh, very dark yellow, very uh, electric green. And see in this room will be, need to be primed entirely to get rid of, um, the drawings on the walls. So, as you can see, there. This is the this is the first week we've been in here, and it's actually Tuesday, so we've been here a couple days, and uh, they're already knocking out a lot of the prep work. So, um, and as Brett said, we're ordering the roof and concrete, and we'll have them here as soon as possible, so we can get this house knocked out in three or four weeks, like Brett's saying, uh, five at the most. So. Um, this is your first update for press. I want to take this opportunity to thank you for your business and you have a great day.